Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3, where we had a party in the last episode, and we are gonna now investigate the aftermath. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Um, that was a weird joke. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Okay, cheers. Then Cortez. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Okay, good. We are through with him. Morning, Shepard. Looks like no humans were harmed in the making of this party. <laughs> Not looking forward to checking my email. Gotta be a thousand in there, waiting to ambush me. Uh. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Morning. I'm drinking all the coffee today. All of it. This is nice. Man, I'm gonna miss everyone. Hey. Shepard? Eggs? When's the food gonna be ready? I don't remember much after I ate the lamp. Shepard. Alright, there was them. Then... Oh, hello, what are you doing? So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so... maybe I just imagined that last part. Probably. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Well... It's not my fault. I was overserved. The alternative, since you are crew members, crew buddies, is... Well, she definitely won't... That won't work out. Oh, you look fine. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Yeah, or you just don't drink. That's a possibility too. Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Well, it's good for you. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. No one in the restroom. That is good too. Good morning. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. Cliff, did you save a copy of that picture for me? Of course, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Okay, can't talk to Glyph. Morning, Shepard. So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had and you hear a timer start counting down, then remember the code 6492, punch it into the keypad, preferably before the timer goes off, if you don't, well, just hope your insurance on this place covers large and fiery explosions. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. 
Yep. Oh, hello, yeah. I wonder if you would let me stay here, Commander. It reminds me of my stasis pod. Every morning I could wake and, just for a moment, imagine it was still my cycle and that Liara did not exist. Okay, and then that gives us then the next thing to do, returning to the Normandy. Then we can, after, since we have had a couple of episodes where we are well, relatively calm, you know, with not too, too much of action, we then will have a proper mission again, right? That is quite cool. It's maybe some action, maybe some good fun, and hopefully going on with the main mission. That is what I am thinking and hoping. So, party's over. Return to Normandy. Yep, we will do. And, yep, we can. Normandy Docking Bay it is. Let's go. Duty calls, huh? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Kicking the Reaper's ass as you mean. Because that's the plan. Can't wait to see what the hell you make us do next. It's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. Okay. Commander. Yeah, so we are quickly gonna throw go through email. Okay, we don't have any. And a doctor wants to talk to us, so let's go to the crew deck and see if that is the doctor. I think we need to talk to that would be utterly amazing. And then hopefully we still gonna have the time today to get to this galaxy map and go on. May I speak with yeah. you? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Good, so then screw what I said with the star map. We are going to return to the Citadel and go to the docking... Um, to the docking bay and talk to Tectus. 
And first of all, we are going to talk to the Admiral. All right. And then back to Citadel and Tectus. Oh boy. Good that I. It's sad that there was no audio with it, but at least uh, we saw the subtitle, right? So good thing that subtitles are activated. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Okay, good. So, first of all, back to the Citadel. Important things too, right? Uh, important things first. Um, ah, and what I might note or should note is actually that... What is that? Is there something new? Oh, wait. Alliance. So, the Alliance Frigate Normandy SR2, where we just go through the update to bolts at the Normandy Firepower, Commander Shepard installed a Thanex Magnetic Hydrodynamic Cannon on the ship's under carriage. Based on Reaper technology, the powerful weapon fires molten metal accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light. Before talking on the Collector's Commander Shepard reinforced the Normandy superstructure with Solaris armor. This protective layer of carbon nanotube sheeted can withstand temperatures that would instantly vaporize more conventional armor. The Normandy has been upgraded with cyclonic barrier technology, allowing the ship, ship's mass field projectors to fire rapidly, oscillating barriers that deflect rather than direct absorb kinetic shocks. Although the Normandy is tough enough to withstand ship-to-ship -ship firepower, wear and tear its toll, the vacuum it takes its toll, sorry, the vacuum of space, solar um, irradiation, the retained heat of stealth mode and the stress of burning on onboard fusion plant all, all put stress on the ship's many complex system alliance technicians have repaired, retrofitted and tested Normandies while it was in dry dock and they assure the crew that it will now perform better than ever. The crew of the Normandy, both past and present, have bonded over their shore leave experiences and vented stress that could otherwise damage their mental focus. They will fight for Shepard or for one another with a renewed zeal. All right, good. Um, before we end today's episode and go to Citadel, which we will squeeze in before we go, I guess, to London. Um, the party thingy was part of the DLC, so I do not precisely know in... Commander. I think it was a DLC. I don't know how that would have come into the normal... I just mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. How that would was in the normal um, mission, but well, fair enough. That is it, guys. That we go to the docks brings us right now already, sadly enough, Normandy. to the end of the zeppi. Do you need ground transport? Yeah. We need to get to the refugee camp. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. To the end of this episode, and you know it, I. As usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me 
a teensy little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day stay frosty bye